I think there are a lot of people in the Chinese military that are thinking, um, I don't really understand how you uh, can say that you've always cared about us when like, one second you're our best friend, the next second you're not our best friend. And clearly um, you've had a problem with Xi and you've even had a problem with Li Kong. I don't even know. How, I don't know how to say his name. The premier, the vice. I don't know which vice premier. Um, and um, you said that they need to step down. And see, here's the thing. Okay, with Xi, everything he does is like to beat you. But what he doesn't understand is that his population is that much bigger, and so like his economic situation is not the same as my economic situation. But it is good for him to fight for his economic situation to be good because he needs to, because he has a lot of people to take care of. But um, he doesn't understand that we we have such a, a, a so much smaller population than him, and plus we have all this technology coming out, and like him trying to conquer us is actually bad for him because he can't no matter what. But it would be bad for the world because let's face it, if, if China was really leading the world what where would they be leading us towards mediocrity probably because anytime that you suppress free thought that much um you tend to have move towards mediocrity so um but that doesn't change like when i talk about how much i admire the chinese people i feel like i'm talking about how much i admire people that are in the chinese military but um let's face it uh, can some pe people, it's like, you're not actually a spy, but no matter what, you're a spy. Kind of like me. Um, yeah, but um, was I was I actually a spy in Egypt? No. Uh, I, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this girl that I know in San Antonio is actually a spy. Because she clearly, like, in her paper, she was like, this is all for the glory of the Communist Party. Like, it, like she she wrote this paper that was, like, a very good paper, and I, I, worked, I worked with her on it, and we, that's how we became really good friends. And... Like she wasn't hiding that she was like that close with the communist party. So she might not be a spy, but I, I do feel like everyone's a spy. Um, but what, I, what I'm trying to say is um, I feel like the Chinese military a lot of the time has treated people like they're their enemies. And um, a lot of that has to do with Xi having a very um, dominant effect on on the chinese society like it's not not him it's it's china wanting to dominate and um i feel like in this world you almost have to have to dominate like you have to dominate fishing grounds if you're if you're going to feed your people um at least at this at, at this point in history and there's nothing you can do about it but i don't know all i'm saying is um I don't know. I hope China's going to be okay. I, I've been reading about, um, reading, reading, reading a lot about viruses and, um, it's, I, I mean, I, it's, it's at times like this that it's a good thing that the Chinese government's so dominant. 